What's going on folks? It's Theo here from Real Experience Ball Reviews and we're here with the new Primal Rage Evolution Ball Review. So if you guys if you haven't had a chance, click the link below, like and subscribe to Real Experience Ball Reviews so we can keep providing you guys with the best content possible. All right, blast from the past. Really excited to actually throw this. Guys, I love this ball so much. I even ordered a case. Those who know me know I love the Primal Series. 255050 has that 5000 uh, you know uh, laser scan polish also packed around that propulsion FYJ pearl. So you guys are probably wondering what makes this ball different than the old Primal. So the original Primal has an older cover stock. We do have a 5 year Primal uh, Rage with me, so I will be comparing that as well as to the Raptor Rush. So again, really excited. Thank you again for Station 300 and Aaron's Pro Shop for providing some fresh oil. Let's get on the lanes and see how this red beauty looks. All right, so five by four by three and a half, 50 by five by 40. Again, I have that on every single ball pretty much from Motive, except for my ASIM, so I go a little bit different. All right, so again, start a little bit straighter. Uh, I'll stand around 23, 24 with my feet. I do drift, keep that in mind. But it'll play a little bit up the boards and then kind of jump in, but I expect some length and angularity out of this ball. Out to the corner. Woo! Holy bananas. So there's that angular shape that everybody loves from that Primal Series. It's always fun on the first shot to like flirt with disaster. So that one I was like, oh, I got that pretty far right. What's I gonna do, you know? I thought that was pretty good. I was really impressed with the length on that. So make some minor increments. And again, we are gonna be comparing this to the Primal Shock, the Raptor Rush, and the five-year edition Primal Rage. So I'll move a couple left, try to keep it in front of me, and just throw it good. Great shot. All right. It's okay. I mean, sometimes as you keep throwing these balls, is they're hooking a little bit more, start building that track. Again, Rex Chamois, click the link below. Justin from DH Lab, love you very much, brother. Appreciate all you should do. All right, I think I threw that pretty good. I may have been a little bit softer, but let's just move a board left. I just try to be confident in this next shot. Great shot. Wow. Okay, that's why it's called the real experience, by the way. But now that it's kind of developing a little bit, something tells me I can move in a little bit more and open up angles as well. So that original Primal Rage has that fusion cover stock, whereas this has that propulsion cover. You guys are gonna see a massive difference in shape and motion with this ball compared to the original uh, Primal Rage and the five-year edition. Great shot. Much better. See that shot, I got around a little bit more, but I opened up my angles. So realistically, if I'm gonna try to trap it, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this would be the ball to do that. This would be like that ball where you just get left and you just wanna really rip on it. Who doesn't love that? I'll tell you what, primal, anything with the word primal on it, it's in my bag, guys. So if you want that ball, has a lot of length, a lot of back end. This is it. Okay, let's keep moving. Why not? Jeez. So as you guys can tell, and by the way, this is the first time I've done a review since I've been back from my stem cell injury, or finger injury, which uh, by the way, stem cell therapy works amazing. Thank you, QC Kinetics for all that you do. You guys are noticing, I mean, it might just be this house shot, but I need to get this ball going this way. It needs to be there at least a little bit more. But that's good, because then I have something that I can get left with and just rip it. That's my favorite pin. My buddy Timmy was here from New York. He'd be like, Theo, that's what you do, bro. You leave nine pins. That nine pin right there kind of tells you it's pretty angular, but it looks so good when you get it down lane like that. Again, too, if you guys are wondering, speed uh, rev dominant. You know, I don't have a whole lot of ball speed. 
Um, decent amount of tilt. I kind of have that one-hander roll as a two-handed player. So going even more, I'm really going to focus on getting that ball down the lane, open up my angles just ever so slightly. Oh yeah. That was incredible. Again, the get left, throw a white ball, and you love it. I like it too. Or, if you're left-handed, get right, throw left. <sighs> Again, in a second here, I'm gonna move all the way to left. I'm gonna get as far left as I can and show you guys the potential of this ball. At the same time, we'll start comparing them to the other uh, primal pieces and the Raptor Rush. Jeez. I just cannot believe how much this ball hooks. So Station 300, I like bowling here because, like I'm not saying I don't like bowling in other places, but they put a decent amount of oil off for the house shot. and. It kind of allows me to get like a real understanding of the ball characteristics. So if something's really slow, I'm gonna see it. If it's really quick, I'm gonna see it. All right, throw this with some confidence. Really love that nine pin, so. Guys, this ball hits like a freaking truck. Holy cow. I mean, I got some stuff that's angular for motive, but this is like really setting new heights right now. Throw a couple more shots for you guys, and then we'll switch up the bowling balls, try some of the other ones. I'm gonna stay left with the other balls too to show you guys the difference in characteristic and motion. So I'm pretty far left right now. Staying around 39 with my feet. All right, here we go. That thing is ridiculous. Let's go. All right, notice how angular that is. Let's really get this one out to the right and see what happens. All right, so as you guys know, it's super angular. I mean, it just picks up a lot, and when it hits the dry, it goes dead sideways. Not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing, it's just for me, this ball, good on the house shots. I might take the surface down a little bit though. All right guys, so the next ball I'm gonna kind of compare this to is the Raptor Rush. So, standing pretty far left, remember that Primal, really angular. I feel like this Rush is just a little bit more blendier of an option. So, I'll just stand pretty far left, kind of where I was striking, you know, with that Primal Evolution. Let's see what this one does in comparison. Okay, so you guys can kind of see it blended out the mid lane a little bit more than that primal uh, evolution did. I love this Raptor Rush, guys. It's a really good ball. Love it. From a comparison standpoint, right, that kind of shows this ball's a little bit more blendier. Do that same thing. I'll even move a couple more left. Just to show you that as well. Got that one in the oil. But again, see? That one didn't go, 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 go and snap. That one was like a little more mid lane, a little more chuggier. You know, remember those numbers, 248. It's got a lower RG. So that ball will be a little bit more overall just on that earlier side. Now we go and throw my baby. This is my Primal Shock. Probably has like 300 games on it, but take it everywhere I go. It's the number one ball in my bag. Stay in the same exact spot. I was throwing both the Raptor Rush and the Primal Evolution. A 
makes sense. So it's got a solid cover stock. It starts to really slow down down lane. If I slow down a little bit and maybe rotate it a little bit more, it probably would recover. So let's try that again. But when you think length and back end, primal evolution. This is length and back end too, but not as much length, guys. Keep that in mind. Got that turmoil, I think MFS solid cover that we know and love on the Venom Shark. Soften up a little bit. Let's just see what happens. Oh yeah, rip that nine pin out. So you guys are seeing a really, really great comparison. Remember, say at the end of this video, there will be a line tracing comparison of these bowling balls so you guys can pick and choose which is your favorite shape out of the bag. Well, look at what we have here. So this is a Primal Rage five-year edition LE. So believe it or not, I've been practicing with this ball because it gives me kind of a unique shape, a lot of length. Remember, it says the Fusion Pearl cover stock. Let's see what this does compared to that Primal Evolution. And I'm gonna go kind of back and forth here a little bit too with you guys and show you. So I thought that was pretty good off my hand, believe it or not. I kind of was throwing that Primal Evolution in the same spot and I really got around that one. It just didn't want to make the corner. That shows that old school technology versus new school. I'm gonna stand in the same spot for this evolution, see what happens. Incoming criticism for people saying I'm not throwing it in the same spot. Yay, but guess what? I'm here having a good time. I'm trying to show you guys how awesome this ball is. Pretty good. That was clearly a difference. Like, that was insane. Um, how much more was going and going and going. I think it had tires and it was just like, yo, let's go. And then it's just like, Meh. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand way left. Hit it like I normally do. We're gonna stand around 40. Let's compare this to that evolution. Okay, really clean, really smooth, old cover tech. Now, let's stand in that same spot on 40. I'll throw that Primal Rage Evolution and see what happens. I know it's just Primal Evolution, but deep in my heart, it's Primal Rage because it's just amazing. Believe it or not, back in New York, when I really started getting back into bowling and getting serious with it, I had an original OG Primal Rage. So thanks again, Motive, for being supportive of me and my career as well. All right, stand that far left again. Let's see what happens. Give it that big wheel, but stay firm. I don't have any words because I threw that good. It picked up a ton. Like I didn't strike, cool, but you guys can clearly see the difference in the ball motion between that LE and the Primal Evolution. So guys, thanks again. Appreciate y'all. Really hope you enjoyed this review. Happy to be back. Um, stay tuned for lots of short clips, all that good stuff. So thanks again, Turbo, Aaron's Pro Shop, Station 300, team at Real Experience Ball Reviews, and uh, Mode of Bowling.